Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this file, website.html, in a text editor like Komodo Edit I'm going to use, but you could also use Notepad or any text editor um, to do this with. So I'm going to open up this file, and I'm also going to open up this other file that is from the Flash, flight, flash folder and website where I've already made some changes to the HTML file and done some centering and I'll show you compare the two so here it is open in um, in Komodo edit and Komodo edit is a free editor so um, you can download it and use it it's a good program okay so here's Komodo editor and you can see here that if we look in this editor we can make some changes to the HTML right here in the editor in other words we could change the title of the site so we could call it instead of just website we could call it my website right and you can see here that um, over here it says height 100 percent background dash color and you can see it says black here now for the sakes of this for the sake of this um, lesson I'm gonna change these numbers here to let's see here instead of zeros I'm gonna change them to to six nines so that's gonna make a gray color for the um, for the image so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna say file save right and now if you open it up in your browser and hit refresh you'll see the background color changed black you can see it over there so now we'll be able to see if we can once we get our centering going how that's working right so now if I go to the other one that I've already edited you'll see here that the flash movie actually starts with this object tag right here and you can see that in a div tag before the object tag I've put align equals center and so that's what I'm gonna do with my website um, page also so you can see here div ID equals flash content align center so what I'll do is on my website page I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna say align equals and then in between quotation marks type center right and then hit file save and now if you go to your Internet Explorer window and you refresh you'll see that your flash movie is now centered in the um, window and what's neat about that is no matter how big the window is your flash movie will always stay in the center right so if I open up the window really wide it's going to be in the center um, so however big your Internet Explorer browser window is it will always be centered so a couple of quick edits there and you're in business okay so to demonstrate this process what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this background this very wide background image here that's actually 1400 pixels wide I'm going to copy it right right click on it and select copy and I'm going to paste it into the other folder right our new folder where we have our website dot swift flash movie and our website dot html our new html file right and I'll just paste that in there right and so what I'm gonna do now is is I'm gonna go to Komodo edit alright and I'm gonna change this background color right to background image and then I'm gonna put in the URL that we want to connect to and let's go take a look at that first so we go back to the HTML page and you see here it says background we'll slide over here and we want the whole line of code here so height equals 100 and I want to get this whole line of code so it's background underscore image colon URL then the name of the the JPEG that we're gonna put in the background and then I'm gonna put in these settings here also okay we'll put all of that alright and we'll copy that and what we'll do is we'll paste it in right here alright and so I'm gonna paste that in right here alright and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on word wrap so we can see it all in one screen 
So there's the full uh, line that we need. Background dash image colon URL, then in parentheses, and in then, then within swing, single quotations, the name of the JPEG file that you want to have is your background image, and then semicolon, and then I've got background dash repeat equals no repeat, and background um, dash position colon center top. All right, and so now I'm going to save this file, save, and then we'll go to Internet Explorer and we'll look at our website. Now here's that black website flash swift, right? Notice the background's gray, but when I hit refresh it's going to turn into that image of the the landscape. So there it is. There's the landscaped image and notice that however far I drag it, the flash movie is in the center, right? And so now I could show you the principle of how we all we got to do is put an image in the center and then we would have our um, we'd have our image background with a centered flat uh, centered flash movie with a matching background and um, we'll do the same thing so for my new site I want to use this image as my background image instead so I'm gonna copy this copy this image right here right and I'll paste it here and what you want to do is get a large image that you're going to use for your background now this image is 1280 by 840 and this one is 1453 by 7 uh, by 793 so I recommend using something that's minimum 1280 by 840 but you can even go over 1280 it would be even good like this one which is 1453 by 793 so to make this image the background in my flash movie all I've got to do now is change the name so I'll take this image and I'll rename it I'll change that to B A K right and that's going to basically turn off that image and I'll take this image right here and I'll change it to BG dash image dot JPEG and if you don't have oops I've got to rename that um, if you don't have your uh, file extensions showing you're gonna wanna have them so what you're gonna wanna do is go to organize and you're gonna go to uh, folder and search options and then go to view and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types if you do that you'll be able to see your file extensions like .jpg or .html or .swift and that's really important so now if I go back to my browser and look at my my flash page which is essentially this one right here website.html right you can see my background is now this allow block content allows the flash file to get embedded into the web page and you can see there is the black flash file on top of the artistic background so the first thing you're gonna need for your website is a background image a large background image that you can stretch out and that will be the the background for your website alright in my example I've got an artistic painting that I did a long time ago and then I also have a, an image of um, a uh, background landscape which you could you could use something like that too. I'm changing the name here so you can see it again so there it is I've also got the landscape here and so that you're gonna need your background image I recommend uh, one of the two sizes that we've talked about